Hey guys, what's up? This is Alpha Armand's Android 12 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your T-Mobile G1 farther than 528 MHz, which is the G1's processor, or even at that speed if you want to. So right now I'm overclocked at a 16, uh, a 614 MHz max overclock, a 384 MHz minimum overclock. That's definitely the most stable overclock there is. So maximum, you can actually go. 633 megahertz if you want to. Now I overclocked that for about three hours and it started lagging so I went back down to 614 and it became much more stable. It can, you can also go one more up to 650 something megahertz but when I do that my phone just shuts down, shuts back on, shuts down, shuts back on. I'm not even able to change it so I had to reflash. So I recommend that you go to 614 or 528 which is the actual G1's processor. 614 is very stable for me. I'm on performance mode and I actually do notice a speed increase. It is really, really nice. And I have a minimum um, underclock of 384 MHz. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, it's a pretty easy thing to do. We're going to go ahead and mount our first off tap menu and we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to applications and we're going to make sure unknown sources is checked. So if, you're, if it's unchecked, you're just going to tap it, you'll get a pop-up, and you're going to hit OK. And I also recommend having the application Linda File Manager installed from the market. It's right there, Linda Manager. That's what it'll say, but it's called Linda File Manager. When you actually have those installed, what you're going to want to do is unmount the USB door and plug in the USB cable to the bottom of your G1 or MyTouch. Scroll down the notification bar, tap USB Connected, hit Mount, and go to your computer. Alright guys, and in the description I will have two downloads. One will be for setcpu.txt and the other one will be for setcpu.apk. You're going to need both of those and you're going to need to place both of them on the root of your SD card. But before you finish that, the setcpu.txt that I'm going to have you download, you need to open that. When it's open, you're going to see some numbers. I'll go ahead and show you those numbers. Right here, those, are the num well, those aren't the numbers you'll have. But you're just going to have a list of numbers like this. What you're going to want to do is literally just delete those numbers. Delete anything you have, highlight them all, and delete it. And when that's done, you're going to go to the um, description and copy and paste the numbers that are in the description. And you're just going to paste those onto the actual set cpu.txt. That's 192,000, uh 245,760, 384,000, 528,000, 614,400, 633,688, and 652,000. And you're going to need those numbers on that set CPU.txt because those are the actual numbers that you're going to be able to overclock to. So, also, guys, if you want to be a little bit more safe, you can actually delete the 652 megahertz. Um, but I just leave it there anyways. You're going to close that and make sure you save the changes. Then safely eject your phone from the computer and go back to it. Alright guys, now that that's done, just go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom of your phone and wait for the preparing SD card logo to pop up and then go away. Now that it's gone, we'll go ahead and open up Linda File Manager that I said you guys should have downloaded. And launch that application open. You're going to tap on SD card. And if not already, tap that home button just to make sure you're at the home. And now you're going to scroll down to set cpu.apk and tap on that. You're going to tap package installer, which will probably be your only option. And I'm going to reinstall it just for you guys real quick, fast. And you're just going to hit install and let that install. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, it'll be really quick. It's already done. So I'm going to hit done. Go home. And I'm going to go ahead and take off my old widget. And now what I like to do before even launching open the app is long press the home screen, tap widgets, and then go to set CPU right there. Tap on that and then tap on the widget. And if it doesn't work, just go into the application. I think it's because I reinstalled it, but you'll definitely be able to do that. So now you're here and um, you'll be able to overclock to whatever the highest number you set was. Um, I'm going to do 614 and 384. I'm going to hit refresh and um, 
that's pretty much all I need to do, guys. And um, I suggest having the widget, but my reinstall probably messed it up. So um, I'll do ahead. I'll go ahead and do a reboot and see if that fixes it. But um, other than that, that's really just how you overclock, guys. Let's go ahead and do a quick reboot and see if that works. Alright guys, and indeed it did work, so you've officially just set CPU'd your G1 faster than it's actually able to go. Um, I have, to be honest, did notice a speed increase, but I am not sure if this works with every donut ROM, every Eclair ROM. I'm not sure guys, but um, I do know that it works on Z, uh, ZX Donut 2.5.1, which is going to be my next ROM review and tutorial. So if you guys want to do it on that ROM, you guys can for sure, and I'll be testing it on every other ROM I do a ROM review and tutorial on. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you rate this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.